Well, we now turn to Dan Applebaum with the big board. Dan, how's it looking? Hi, Ryan. It's a big night tonight for groceries, wouldn't you say? I would sure say so. It's uh, Grocery Watch 2020. Now, we don't yet know what actually is going to end up on that list, and even if we end up going to the grocery store. A little bit on that in a second, but let's look at our Grocery Watch 2020 big board here, and we can sort of get some clues on what we're honing in on. So first, I just want to drink, bring your attention to this right here. This is a big number, 20% chance that there's gonna be milk on that grocery to-do list, all right? Now, a big part of that has to do with what we saw on that grocery list last time we actually went to the grocery store. There was milk on there, but it was fat-free milk, and we saw an almond milk substitute on there although they did not have almond milk at the time. Uh, Dan, how do you feel? Uh, there, there was a recent study on the internet uh, showing that whole milk leads to breast cancer. Well, can you comment on that? Uh, currently right now that's going through your aunt's Facebook feed and it is making its rounds. Does it get to your mom? We're not sure yet. So at this moment, we do have it on the projection projected grocery list, but again, that could change at any time. Thank you, Dan. Uh, Dan, now recently, uh, You've, you've mentioned interest in your numbers with the apples. Can you take us through what, uh, what you've right, been talking right. about? Yeah, that was really interesting. Actually, uh, pardon me just uh, one second here. I can just get confirmation right now. We can confirm that uh, we will have to pick up our daughter from soccer practice within the next 30 minutes, all right? Ryan, that's going to be a big, big blow to Jewel Osco because Jewel Osco is actually two miles south of Spalding Street. I want to bring your attention to this part of the big board right over here. We sort of see Spalding Street sort of bisect Bishop and Fortnite Lane. And what we're going to look for is actually is uh, Myers right over here in Trader Joe's. There is a basically a five minute difference between the two, but Myers has a much more accessible parking lot, which may make it easier in the rush hour to actually get the food. Now, the big question is when we pick up uh, Sally, do we go to the grocery store with her? Last time she did throw a fit and we had to leave, but we did get the groceries in time. So that's, a, that's still up in the air as of now, but uh, we can project that we will have to pick up Sally from soccer practice within the hour. Uh, Dan, can you comment on the rumors of a Trader Joe's opening up on Brigsby Avenue, uh, just two miles south of your daughter's elementary school? That's right. There is a 75% chance that there will be a Trader Joe's opening within the next six to seven months on Brigsby Avenue. Actually, when um, our aunt was driving by Brigsby Avenue, she did see an open construction site. It did look like more of a church when we checked it out, but there is a chance that it is, in fact, a Trader Joe's, as she claims. And I just want to bring your attention right over here to this part of the big board. Sale projections. That's going to be really important because we're looking for for the best deals right now, all right? This is gonna be a big night for deals, especially if we take a look at the pudding two for one sale, all right? Uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a misassociation. We're not actually gonna buy 241. This is a two for one sale, uh, that just so we're clear here. Uh, the pudding sales, that's gonna come in the chocolate, vanilla, and the new banana pudding, which actually, uh, we haven't been able to factor into our uh, estimations yet because we don't know what the banana pudding tastes like, if it in fact has aspartame, which again is a big no-no in this household. And again, if that chocolate and vanilla pudding actually comes in a pack or if we have to buy the flavor separately, that's going to factor a lot into if that actually ends up on the grocery list. But the fact that we are projecting that there will be a sale on pudding in some capacity, that is boding well to it being on the grocery list tonight. Uh, Dan, uh, I'm receiving, we got a new uh, update from one of our uh, one of our people out on the street. Um, it appears that your cousin Dan was walking by the Jewel Osco and it shows that it's closed for a private event this Monday. Can That's you care to comment on that? Interesting. Well, first of all, uh, the qu obvious question in my mind is why is a Jewel Osco closed for a private event? What does that look like? Currently, we cannot project what that private event looks like, but that's going to be a big, big blow to actually ending up at Jewel Osco. There is a chance that, uh, a, a very, very small chance, we, we can't yet project that we won't visit Jewel Osco, but things are looking a lot better for Myers, and I'd sure rather be Trader Joe's right now if I were you. Now, I just want to bring your attention very quickly to one developing story right now, and that is the eggs. That's been on the grocery list for about a week now. Uh, ever since that, uh, tra ever since that um, uh, French toast fiasco in which uh, we used too many eggs, twice the amount of eggs needed for the batter for the 
French toast. We've been fresh out of eggs. That's actually stopped us from making some of the dishes that we've wanted to make this week. So there's a very good chance that this actually ends up number one or number two on the grocery list. But I want you to, uh, want you to draw your attention right here. There is a possible synergy right now between the eggs and actually what's on sale. We cannot yet project, but there is a very good chance uh, that there will be a 50% off or something in that range sale of eggs and that sale on eggs. And that's based off of projections from earlier times we visited the grocery store and uh, it's sales that they've had in the past. Now, again, very quickly. Dan, um, can I stop you just for a second? Go, go right ahead, uh, yes. Dan, there, there's a question. Uh, of course, our viewers, it's freshly in their mind, the uh, egg scandal of last week when you came home and three eggs were cracked. Is that going to uh, put a difference in the... Uh, in the buyer's mind for what brand of eggs they're going to be getting. That's right. Three eggs were cracked when I uh, arrived home and smashed three eggs on the floor. Now, I did do it out of anger, but that anger was solely towards the eggs, uh, specifically because of the French toast incident that happened earlier in the day. So when we're actually considering what eggs we're going to buy, yes, that, uh, that event does factor in to the ultimate decision to buy eggs or to not buy eggs, but I do want to remind you that was a one-time thing. I've apologized for it, and I've moved on. Back to you. Uh, breaking news, uh, it appears that your girlfriend has gone vegan. Is that going to change anything for this uh, grocery list tonight? Oh, that is very interesting. She has been flirting with it for the last couple of weeks. I really thought that she was going to not pull through with it, or if anything, sort of split the difference and do that vegan pescatarian uh, nonsense. But it does seem like she does ha has announced her intentions to go vegan for the time being. Now, the, uh, the, the, the prevailing wisdom is shop for what you think you're going to need. Now, do I think she's gonna pull through with this whole vegan promise? No, absolutely not. I can project personally that she will not stay vegan for more than a couple of days, especially when she finds out those egg white delights are certainly not in the vegan category. Now, what we can do is keep pork on the grocery list, but actually hide it towards the bottom. And so that what that's gonna do is it's gonna make her think that you are taking the vegan move very seriously. She's gonna appreciate that. But the fact that it's gonna be at the bottom or towards the bottom is actually gonna be remind you to pick up pork in the very likely event that she does smell bacon in the morning and asks for a slice. All right, well, thank you, Dan. Great coverage as always. We now go to uh, Ricky Sunshine for the weather. Happy to help, Ryan.